Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at Chantal's huge kitchen restock once she got back to Kuwait and then her live where she treats us to seeing her eat yet another huge meal. She tells us about the places she wants to travel to. Julia is brought front and foremost. See if you agree with my thoughts about Julia. She tells us about the birthday gift she brought back from Canada and also how she feels about what people say about her. Let's get into it, shall we? So let's look at the huge kitchen restock haul video. And I do have this sped up a lot so we can get through it quick. Hello guys, assalamu alaikum. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be me uh, just showing you how we restocked the kitchen full of food because when I went to Canada um, last month, I had kind of cleaned everything out and we gave away the remaining food that we had uh, that I know that you gave away the remaining food that you had you did say in the previous live yeah let's sell it and cook um look at her here either the filters are working over time or uh, what I mean she does have a lot of makeup on to be fair but looking looking quite good actually that Salah would not be using. Um, cooking is not his forte, it's not his job, so he was just ordering and just eating small things like snacks and fruits and stuff like that. So I had to restock my entire kitchen because I changed my mind about staying in and then I came back to Kuwait. So uh, it is what it is. Hold on, how did Salah cope before you were with him? How did he feed himself then? Did he live on snacks and take out then? I had to, uh, you know, organize everything. So this is actually a lot of stuff is left out and I have to put it away and reorganize everything. But um, this is the first haul of food and uh, I'll probably still need to um, pick up some things, you know, along the way. Um, maybe oh, weekly yes. or something like that. Talk up some More stuff. food. But, um, we don't have a lot of cupboard and fridge and freezer space. So, I mean, we have a pretty standard fridge and of course there's the freezer part. And that's what I hate. Like I've always wanted one of those extra little freezers because um, not a huge one, like for like family size, because it's just the two of us. But um, sometimes when things go on sale that you can just freeze, you know, I just, or preventing, you know, leftovers from going bad, you can just freeze them. So I always wanted like one of those little freezers, but I just never ended up getting one. We don't really have the space. You know, we have just enough space yeah, for what we have. So um, we kind of make do, but yeah. So a lot of these things are just um, staples. Um, a lot of it's, uh, you know, affordable food. Um, groceries here compared to Canada are like, it's like half price. It's, it's so affordable. I always say like Kuwait is like like pre-inflation Canada prices. Like it's um, it's it's just it's a very big difference. I noticed um things quite bad price wise, inflation wise when I was in Canada, which is too bad. You know I know everyone is struggling. So um I hope that I can do some meal ideas with these groceries. Pretty um, so yeah, some stuff still has to go in, and some Kleenex brand uh, paper towel. All right, so here we have first up we have a three liter of cooking oil. This is corn oil. You use oil a lot in cooking, obviously. Wow. Um, I got this Johnson Vita Rich body wash, very scented, because you get a free one with it, so that's a good deal. Um, I left these out of the fridge. I did have some for breakfast, Salah and I. It's very messy, but these are black olives. <laughs> and this is um, Macduus, which is stuffed eggplant. Yeah, it's little eggplants that are like pickled and stuffed with like nuts and peppers and tomatoes and stuff like that, I think. Actually, I don't think there's tomatoes. I'm not sure, but there's definitely peppers and nuts and stuff like that inside. And you can eat it with bread. It's really good. Okay. We have some miniature pickles. These are my favorite pickles. I love these. You guys know this is a repurchase. Oh, she loves her pickles, doesn't she? That's a jar of little pickles. Look at all that food. Wow. A couple bottles of hot sauce. Um, it's like the Red Rooster brand, but it's like a more local brand, which is cheaper. We have some luncheon meat. Salah loves this. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Two jars but of you'll pasta eat it sauce. Anyway. Four cans of full, which is fava beans, fava bean stew, which is a breakfast staple here. Some fresh peaches. I love peaches. <laughs> some... Why does she love peaches? Never known her to like peaches or much of any fruit, to be fair. Spaghetti. These are little mini pizzas that I just shove in the air fryer whenever I'm being a lazy housewife and I don't want to feed my husband right away. <laughs> just give him this for a snack or something. He likes those. Um, tomato paste okay. is a staple as well. I use that in a lot of cooking. Okay. That's a lot. One, two, three. Eight cartons of tomato paste. Wow. Gonna be doing a lot of cooking, girl. Okay. We have some shells. We have some vermicelli, some popcorn, some parmesan popcorn. cheese, cheese, some yellow you don't mustard, need any more cheese. some potato buns. These are really good for burgers, homemade burgers. 
and some tuna in water. These were a really good deal, actually. So yeah, I got two of them. Julie would like tuna. Got two of those. I love tuna and a box of Maggi um, chicken stock. And what I do is I make my own chicken noodle soup. I add the stock to some vermicelli noodles and yeah. So that's, that's that. <laughs> okay, for snacks. And remember, this is for two people. We have these Pop Pops. I got sick of these. I don't really eat them anymore, but someone loves them. So um, yeah, it's like a nostalgic food for him. He's been eating them like as a kid and stuff. So they're very popular here. This I love and I'm going to try to eat in moderation. I will eat in moderation. Whoops. I doubt you will, but we'll see. Indomie. Now, indomie is not a health food, so there's ways that you can make it healthier. If you see the picture that you can have broccoli and proteins and stuff like that. So, yeah. And that makes it healthier. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> I don't have broccoli. And we also have this Kitco brand variety of chips, which is still unopened, but you get different varieties of chips here. Ketchup, chicken, salt and vinegar, lightly salted, which is always the last to go. Why is she? I mean, you know she's going to eat them. She's buying all the wrong foods again. Hot and spicy paprika. Paprika! Tastes like paprika. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's almost like a barbecue. All right, Salah loves these. These are easy snack for him as well. Cheese puffs and chocolate croissant. And I bought, I had to restock all new spices. So onion powder, garlic powder. These are the staples I cook with. Yes. Coriander, bay leaves, a bit more cumin. All those spices, wow. And, and here, look at these beautiful cucumbers. Wow. That's a lot Howie of cucumbers. These. So these are for Howie and for us. Big case, it's cheaper to buy them. I wonder how long they'll stay fresh for. I know she said they were for the hamster as well, but... Wow. Okay. In the case. So fresh from Kuwait Farms. Oh, and frozen. I love these chickens. These are a staple here. We have an ice cream sandwich <laughs> for Salah. Um, and you're thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> so these mm. are frozen chickens. I will be cooking the very versatile. So yeah. Um, we have here a double pack of chicken tenders to put in the air fryer. This is old. Like this chicken. is paratha. Huge bag of French fries. Um, these are really good and so cheap. This whole bag, uh, almost. This whole bag, 900 gram bag of chicken thighs, is like. A, you see, we don't have okay. much room, so I would have liked to stock up. They were on sale, but I can't. <laughs> Got a couple packs of. It's a mix. Is that? That's a small freezer. If that's the size of the freezer, all that we're seeing there. Um, don't mind. I have to clean up the freezer again. <laughs> uh, mutton and beef, which is good for kebabs and stuff like that. Some more bread, some ice. Up for, you know, just drinks and shisha. Oh, you meant to. And some mixed veggies. I love these. Just adding these to like rice, like plain rice or something. So I love them. We're just on the side properly. of a meal. Freezer separately. Okay. Put that back. It's like Tetris in the freezer, and I'm not good at Tetris, as you can see. <laughs> Strawberry vanilla. Uh, got some butter, chocolate as well. Okay. Um, we have some Almirai berry juice. These were already there, the ketchups and things. Um, they were already there, but I thought you said you cleared it all out. I think all the juice spilled here just now. I gotta clean that. This is um, arugula and a huge... Oh no, these are green peppers. I have a cabbage somewhere. <laughs> um, as you can see, Salah already had a couple of these for breakfast. These are Rani pineapple juice. We have four quarts of full fat milk, some barbican. We have some orange juice. I really like having just a glass of this with breakfast. No sugar added orange. Um, these are lemon, which is like a yogurt drink. I wonder if the orange juice would be okay with a diabetes. Full fat cream, <laughs> some heavy cream. These were on sale, Mimolette Holland cheese. It tastes like cheddar to me. Two packs. More cheese. We have a whole bunch of um, Stay away from the cheese. Istanbuli cheese, um, some turkey breast. We have, what kind of cheese is this? Just like soft white cheeses that I love. More I cheese. Some back there. We have a pack of just pure ground beef. I'm gonna cook with that tonight. We have some one fell out here, so I'll show you. This is the yogurt I love. Fresh sour yogurt. Fresh sour yogurt, Elmerai brand. <laughs> this one's a bit bent from falling, but I eat this, you know, with meals, with potatoes, with rice, everything. Um, we have two packs of eggs. Some are missing. I made breakfast this morning. Two packs of mozzarella cheese and three packs More of cheese. labna. This is the best mayo nor. I love it. And mayo. So I'm going to move it to show you. We have some olives back here. Not the kind of stuff you should be eating. This is just like moisture on the fridge. <laughs> so that's the fridge right now. Uh, a stable. <laughs> A lot of water. What are you yeah. doing? All right, guys. Well, that was my grocery haul. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I always show you guys what I got. I also have a huge cabbage there in a bag on the ground. You know what cabbage looks like. It's huge. I'm going to pickle some. I'm going to stir fry some. And uh, I might also make um, mashi, which is um, stuffed cabbage, like cabbage rolls, kind of. Arabic cabbage rolls. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think we'll leave that there. Hell of a lot of food for two people. Mm -hmm. And not the healthiest. Mm. So now we take a look at her live called Cheesy Beefy Pasta Bake and Show and Tell.
Selected clips only, of course. So I have some shells, uh, ground beef sauce, and like I put cheese on it and I baked it, and I have some potato buns with a bit of butter, and that's my dinner. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Enjoy. That's a big plate. That doesn't look like a normal dinner plate. Is that like a serving plate? Who is eating her corn cheese? <gasps> cheese. I'm gonna try to be moderate with the cheese. That's... <laughs> and that wasn't moderate with the cheese. Anyway, she then gets up and leaves for about a minute. She says to go and get salt and her glasses. So she comes back. And now, I didn't put like any salt on this, hardly. But, but now I that's a ton load of salt. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I know I be more cheese, cheese even more okay. cheese. Okay. <clears throat> These are gonna fog up. Thank you, Colleen, for the and Penny. Bard. Oh, wow. That's way too much cheese and salt. Somebody with her health conditions. Let's go home driving. I don't think we'll be able to, so I'm busy right now. But we will. We will go out uh, around. I'm just like getting settled back in. It takes me longer than probably most people. <laughs> Seriously, right. I'm so tired all the time. Like right now, I'm okay, but I need to reset my like circadian rhythm if I even ever had one. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I have to like get used to everything again and. Get used to everything again. You'd think she'd been away for a year or two. She was away for less than a month. I just see the arugula just like that because when I first came to Kuwait, I was like, "How do you guys eat bitter greens like with everything with no dressing?" You know? Don't cry. Come here. Why do you want attention twenty four seven? You miss me, huh? And Throughout this live, Julia seemed to be just looked like she was annoying or frustrating Chantal um, now it could be that Julia's in heat again because the injection that she had to stop her coming into heat was quite a while ago now and it sounds you know like that behavior I wish she'd get it sorted out and um what was I gonna say yeah you just get used to it you get used to it, you know? And then you start craving it. It's weird. Ugh. Yeah, you get used to it. Then she goes after poor Julia again. What are you doing? Come on. Where are you? Leave the cat alone. Say hi. Huh. <gasps> Say hi to the cat. Tell him you're beating today. She yeah, her. you are. It's like a prop again. You're beating. Come on, bees. Come on, bees. That's what you get for beezing. <sighs> to the cat, that's what you get for beezing. Cat did not look comfortable there. Hi, Mom Corner. It's my plans for the week. Oh, too many. Marianne, if too I many. Feel, that's another story. Really? I figured that out a long time ago, but if you you can plan all you want, but actually executing those plans is a different story. Yeah, definitely. You've got lots of big grand plans, haven't you? That are just not gonna happen. Get chat on the screen here so you can see that somebody asked where Sam is. I'm just like, he's out taking care of some business right now, so that's why he's probably not in the chat a lot. Thanks, Miss V. Taking care of business? Mm, okay. In the evening. Was Julia very clingy when you got home? Yeah, she still is. But I love it. <laughs> because she's a be Could be clingy and getting on like that because she's in heat she's in season possibly yeah i just honestly like love her being around me 24 7. <laughs> 24 7 huh mama the pasta was good i have a lot of leftovers and salah will eat later when he's back i love eating she has leftover pasta and salah's gonna eat it i think i know who's gonna eat it eat it i don't think it's gonna be salah julia's around again 
My cat is, I think, almost two. I don't even know how old she is. You don't know how old your cat is. You said before that you didn't even know your cat's breed. Great cat owner, eh? If you've been to a vet, a vet could give you an estimate of how old she is, but if the vet told you that, you clearly didn't listen. It wasn't important to you. <laughs> Meet my neighbours? No. We're not, I don't know going to my neighbours. Yes, Akeem. Why wouldn't you want to meet your neighbours? Mm -hmm. It's a bit odd. Yes, Akeem. Julia! Come. After the cat again. Right, Carolina? That water looks crisp. It is extra. I'm drinking out of one of those hand mixer blender things. Because I need a big, big jar. Like a huge... Drinking out of a hand blender. Do do? Some a barrage water. Local water here. Um, the last meal of the day. It's my last meal, but I'm going to have a dessert and a snack. Because that will help me from not binge eating. You know, if they just say, okay, I'm going to stop eating now. No, it's not, it's not going to happen. So after all that, I'm going to have a dessert and a snack as well. Wow. But I can try to reduce the damage. So... Would you say to me? Um, so I'm going to have like a chocolate or maybe strawberry yogurt. And then I'm going to have like a small snack. Maybe like a small bag of chips or something. I don't know. Or popcorn. It's really hot in the day. Yeah. Popcorn. Snacks. Yeah, thanks, Lois. Buster is... I think he's about 10, so he's getting up there in age. Thank you, Random. It was good. That's asking about a mum's dog. Remember on uh, one of the videos, I think her last one from Canada, this trip. Buster didn't like her. Um, he's not friendly. Like, he's not friendly. Like, random people cannot pay. Yeah, we got that. He loves my stepdad. Like, he, my stepdad can, like, do anything to him. Like, he loves him so much. He loves my mom and sister, but he still growls at them like he does with me. Like, if he doesn't want to be kissed. Animals don't like to be kissed, I get it, but... Too bad. I mean, oh, oh, like, give me a break. You get free shelter, food, you're off the streets. All you, you can put up with a kiss here and there. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I can't believe she just said that. Oh, be thankful that you're out of a shelter. You can put up with being manhandled. Cause, well, just my opinion, the way that she holds her. My term, manhandled. And because she wouldn't have a Oh, you can be grateful for it. Here he leaves the stream again for well over a minute to go and get a yogurt. Is that coming back? The clutter on my table. Ooh, a dark velvet green. Okay, I'm gonna have fresh yogurt after for my dessert. Strawberry. I know I'm not like eating super clean, but like I said no. in my video, I'm being realistic and I'm starting small. I'm trying to keep the binges away. So if I super restrict right now and go down to like, like, like I said, I have chemo trauma from not doing that. I'm telling you. <laughs> so much for starting this glow up. Getting ready for the Everest base camp trip. Huh. She goes on to uh, present her birthday gifts and things that she brought back from Canada. Um, the family gave her lots of things that they don't use anymore, they don't like. She calls them hand-me-downs. And amongst other things, there's toiletries, face powder, cream blush. Her aunt got her a book apparently called The Serotonin Power Diet um, about cutting cravings and overeating. And she says she'll definitely read it. We'll see. Chantel's not well known for sitting down and reading, is she? How do you consider $40 for shampoo high but not for a plate of food? But I don't buy this weed abuser, that's the thing. I would not buy $40 shampoo today, no. I do consider that high. So anything expensive you see me have right now, like, has been a hand-me-down for my family. Like, I'm not... Like, the most expensive thing I have, like, my my ring, my glasses, um... And, yeah. My glasses? Gee, how much were those glasses then? This is, like, I don't know how much this was. Is it 40 bucks? I don't know. Yeah, probably 40 bucks a bottle or something. I don't know. I would not buy that with my own money. Like, no. I would probably just get, like, even Lush is expensive for shampoos and stuff like that. I haven't even really been buying Lush. That's why I was so excited for the gift cards I got, you know? Addiction changes the way you view what you're buying, like drugs or food. Yeah, I mean, it's true, yeah. Um, But, like, when I went to Canada this time, I don't remember food being that high in price. It's crazy, you know? And, like, <sighs> hi, that's not playing. Melanie Lynn, hi. That's her point, that you won't spend it on products, but you will on food. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like spending that much money. So, basically, chat are telling her that she'll spend that amount of money on food rather than uh useful products you know something that would last longer and there's no need to spend that amount of money on food is there really 
you know, on food either. Like, I'm very happy and content here with what we bought for groceries, like what we spent um, for everything we got. That's why I'm like happy we did the grocery order. And when we order out here, it's like eight bucks. I should think you're content. That was massive amount of food that you got in that order. Bucks for the two of us. We can get like local food for really cheap. In Canada though, yeah, I spent a lot of money on takeout, yeah. But yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, the addiction changes, but you're right. That's that's a big part of it too. Like I, exactly, like I'm a food addict. So like I, I begrudge myself for spending the money on food, but it's like, I don't have self-control sometimes, you know? I self reset. It really doesn't make sense actually. You're right. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. So like that's, I prioritize the No self-control. Food over like conditioner, you know? <laughs> but I don't like doing it. I hate myself for it after. Thank you, Karen. Hate yourself for doing it. Compulsion, isn't it? So she then goes on to talk with chat about the places she'd like to travel to, including Morocco and the Great Wall of China, etc. She says that she sees travel as a challenge and taking it step by step is how she gets through it. Getting through it, I mean, that doesn't bode well for future travel, does it? I want to eat my yogurt, but see, I'm not hungry. Like, I'm still not hungry. And you know what? If I listen to my body right now, I have heart. See, she's not hungry, but she wants to eat, doesn't she? From, from the, probably from the beef and the cheese. I gotta try to limit that. I'll only eat something like this maybe once a week. Who you try to kid? Once a week? Nah. There's nothing else really of any interest to show you in this one. Um... She talks with chat about how Kuwait is more affordable than Canada for things like gas, rental prices, etc. Then she eats her yogurt, discusses about inflation, talks about their trip to Thailand. She says she's going to go back to gaming. She sings some songs. Chat asks her about the Mr. Snowflake documentary and she says she stopped caring what people say about it. This is her new approach. We'll see how long it lasts, eh? As always, thanks for watching. Till next time. Belly, belly full, but she want more. Anger rising, can't keep store. Money off the spend, can't ignore. Greed a joker till she can't adore. Belly full of greed, heart full of spice.